My name is Gilbert Dillard, and you don't know my story. 35 year crack addiction, 20 years of chronic homelessness, three prison numbers, and my life was changed by God. After 14, 15, 16 treatment centers, I lost count. But the last treatment center was at the Salvation Army, and I finally grasped what they were saying. It's a WE program. I was trying to do this thing on my own for a long time, and when I grasped that concept of a WE program, it seems funny how God just puts people in your life. This little guy, 30 years younger than me, uh, came along my side, and he was two years clean, and we began to travel together. And I hung out with this little guy for another two years, but he took me to every recovery meeting that he went to. Uh, he took me to every treatment center that he spoke at. And that was the breaking point for me, was to have that person walk alongside of me as I entered my recovery journey. Um, 35 years lost in the wilderness, not knowing who I was, didn't like who I was. But in my recovery today, since I decided to engage my recovery, I uh, am now a certified peer supporter. Um, I'm also a trainer for peer supporters. And if I didn't engage my recovery, if I didn't attend those meetings and hear what I needed to hear, I wouldn't be here today. If I didn't put into practice the principles of the program, I wouldn't be here today. Today, uh, November 2nd, to be four years clean for me. Uh, my recovery journey has taken me to place and heights, uh, sitting in company that I never thought I would be able to keep. Uh, and then my passion for helping that next peer get to the place of recovery and even maintaining that recovery is very important for me today. So my recovery journey to this point has really shown me who I really am. Um, I have value today. I have purpose today. Uh, and most of all, loving these people that are struggling is they've never been loved. I have love for them today. I have compassion for them today. I constantly educate myself to keep on top of what's going on in the recovery community. I maintain the resources. I go out and find these resources to help my peers. This is my job today, to help my other peers. And it also <laughs> helps me stay clean. <laughs> if I wasn't doing this work I'm doing today, I'd probably have a problem. But knowing that I have a purpose and a passion is something that I never had. I have that in my recovery today. And I'm ever so grateful that this has given me a new insight on myself. Can I say that? Myself? I didn't know who I was when I was in them streets. Uh, matter of fact, I was masquerading as somebody I'm not. I say one thing. I'm not where I want to be. I know when I entered this process this last time, I was here seeking an end to the pain. I was torn of the regrets and confusion. And I'm grateful that my community, my recovery community, helped me face the fear change. To help me identify those behaviors that mask the true person inside of me. They helped me realize that honesty was important. It helped me see that it takes courage to walk this journey. But I can say today, I am a person of long-term recovery. And I say long-term because 24 hours is a long time for me to stay clean, crime-free, and drug free. So I am a person of long term recovery. Thank you.